The United Nations Chief Ban Ki-moon is meeting with South Sudanese President Salva Kiir in Juba Thursday. His visit comes as opposing uh, groups in the South Sudan peace process prepare to form a unity government mandated by the peace deal they signed last summer. After two years of civil war, rebel, uh, rather opposition leader uh, Rick Machar and President Kiir inked the pact in August agreeing to run a unity government for 30 months before holding elections. Kiir appointed Machar as his vice president last week and the first step toward forming the unity government. More than two million displaced uh, by the violence uh, that has killed tens of thousands of people. Well, a short while ago, the South Sudan opposition leader and vice president, Rick Machar, had a conversation with the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Mr. Machar now joins us by phone from Addis Ababa, by Ethiopia. Mr. Vice President, after speaking with Mr. Ban uh, today, uh, do you feel like uh, you've set everything ready to go back to Juba and form this uh, government of unity? Well, I, I assured uh, the Secretary General of the UN, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, that I'm ready to Juba, as, to go to Juba as soon as the initial phase of the security arrangements are put in place. So I'm ready to go to Juba. Uh, I assured him that, and uh, we just we're just waiting for the transportation of the the troops that should go to Juba. This this are uh, security uh, elements according to the agreement. So now, I'm ready to yeah, go. Yeah. And I was also happy that he assured me that once we form the government of national unity, he, the Secretary General, will assist in mobilizing resources for the government to function smoothly. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, earlier on you had said that you wanted also to uh, see that uh, South Sudan troops that were on the streets uh, were cleared from the streets. Is that something that has been done or is that promised to be done soon? Uh, this has been promised. The demilitarization of Juba uh, is also one, one, one aspect of uh, implementing the security arrangements. So I'm hoping that uh, before uh, our security elements uh, get to Juba, the Juba will be demilitarized except for the forces that are stipulated in the agreement will remain in Juba. Now, Dr. Machar, are you going back next week, as you mentioned somewhere? Will you be in Juba with the name of uh, uh, members of the cabinet of the new unity government? Yeah, I said I will go to Juba in March. It could be next week. It could be also the second week mm -hmm. uh, because it is now dependent on the deployment of the uh, security uh, forces uh, mm -hmm. according to the agreement. And uh, uh, definitely, yes, mm -hmm. I, I will go to Juba with uh, an initial list of our uh, members to the transitional government of national unity. But uh, I hope to also have time to consult with our members who are already in Juba, our advanced team, and also with the rest of South Sudanese on the formation of the government. And finally, we'll sit with President Kiir and form the government. Yes. Now, very quickly, what is your reaction to the uh, threat of uh, sanctions against you and President Kiir by the U.S.? Well, I, I don't see a reason why there would be sanctions on me in particular. I am, I am a victim. I am a victim of the massacre that happened in Juba, uh, 2013. I, uh, so I, I, I see why, I see no reason why I would be sanctioned. But all in all, what does, what will the sanctions serve if the two leaders are sanctioned? It would just complicate matters. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Dr. Machard, thank you very much uh, for talking to us today. Uh, that's opposition leader and vice president, uh, Rick Machar of South Sudan, speaking to us on the phone from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.